Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so as I promised, I'm trying my best to upload three times a week. I'm trying to stick to Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I may throw in some extras in there somewhere throughout the week if I can. But yeah, today is Friday. Blue shirt means work day, of course. And this is one of my new ones that I hauled, and that haul got deleted. So if you guys would like to re-see that haul, uh, let me know, and I'll I'll try to gather everything up and refilm it. But yeah, this one's got a cute little um, cutout detail on the shoulders, and I'm sitting here trying to think what foundation I want to use. Um, I don't really even know. I just don't even really know. Um, I think. I might do a primer today. Shocking. I know. I know. Shock. And I'm already moisturized and I did use the e.l.f. Please ignore my hair. I just took it down out of its ponytail. Um, I colored it. As you can tell, no shiny roots today. I colored it last night and dried it and slept on it. So she's a little poofy we might try to spray her down but i'm taking i guess it helps if i show you what i have doesn't it the smash box and this is the photo finish i'm taking just a little and i'm just focus focusing it <laughs> here and i'll take what's left and just kind of move it around Want to look at my nose? I noticed some dry skin around my nose yesterday, um, and that's odd because usually that's where I stay oily. And this hair may just have to go completely back. I'm getting a lot of hair. Um, those vitamins I showed you in like my favorites, I'm getting a lot of hair, and I guess it's from the vitamins. I don't know, but my hair had really thinned down, I was losing a lot of my hair. And that's when I started taking the vitamins. And my hair has really come back. So I don't know if it's the vitamins, but it was around the same time that I started taking those. And I've been taking those for about three months. And I have seen a big difference in my hair. Okay, let's find a foundation. I think I'm going to go with -na -na, the um, matte and poreless. We're going to go with a little bit of matte. Hey, my buddy. I have, I have Tiger Boy in the room. I have my tiger boy. He's going to be mad because he's going to figure out that I have to leave here in a little bit. I wish this had a pump or the um, spatula or something. So I'm not making a mess all over my fingers. You know what I mean? Alright, that should be about enough. If it's not, we'll add, it's going to take what I got around the cap and get it off there. Um, if we need a little more, we can add a little more, but once you have too much on there, it's kind of hard to um, take it off. So, start pouncing around. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers for joining me. I have a, quite a few new ones. Yay! Please leave me any comments, like videos you want to see. <laughs> Just pouncey pounce. Don't get it all over you. Oh, I have to work tomorrow. I have closed. Every weekend this this month, I've closed every Saturday night, and I'm ready for a Saturday off, people. I'm I'm serious. I'm so ready for a Saturday off. Um, Saturdays and Sundays is the only days I fully get to spend a day with my husband, <laughs> so we can you know actually enjoy some time together and be you know hang out together. This is just that fit me uh, in shade light. Which is number 10 it's the fit me and I'm just gonna pounce this again get up under that uh but yeah I am ready for a 
next Saturday. And if I don't get next Saturday, I'm putting off for a Saturday. That's just how it's going to be. I'm going to go in the computer and put off for a weekend. I hate it for them. I mean, it's just, um, I see a lot of people that's not there on the weekends, and it's like the same people. So it's getting kind of um, to the point where somebody else needs to work for a Saturday. Yeah. Um, to set my under eyes, I am going to use... This is a little deluxe sample I had received. I was shopping my stash and found it, but it is Clinique, and it is mirrored, so I don't know. There we go. And this is number 20, Invisible Blend. And I'm just going to take... This is that e.l.f. blush brush, and I think the only thing I've used it for in the last couple of days is this powder. But she's tapered, and I'm just going to dip... I don't want this all over my black pants, so I'm going to hold it over my vanity. Tap some of that excess off. And set that under eye with it. I've noticed this is so light. It does a really good job. Under my eyes. Just pat it in. Okay. And... I got some down around the actual, like the threads for the jar, so I'm just knocking that off and into the cap. All right, to set my entire face, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Matte, and yes, people, we are still working that, that poor compact down. She's getting there. Look at that. Bless her. So yeah, I'm just packing this. All over. The less powder on your face, the less cakey you will be. And just a very light dusting of that. And I'm going to go ahead and bronze, and I'm going to use that Milani bronzer. She looks like that. Beautiful, beautiful pan. And I, I love this. I'm glad I found it. Um, one side does have a little shimmer. The other, the light side has some shimmer. The dark side is matte, but I've been liking kind of mixing them together. Because you don't really see any shimmer on your skin, or I haven't. And... Okay, I'm not going to go too far on my neck because this collar kind of comes up a little and I don't want makeup on my collar, so I'm not pulling it as far down today. Get that little double chin. This is my little double chin. You know, I'm a chunky girl. What can you do? Um, for blush, let's pull open my blush drawer because I don't have anything out here. And this is the Tarte Seduce. This is in that Tarte kit that is in the giveaway on top because it's the last one I used and I know this is very pigmented so I'm just going to very lightly tap into that start on the cheek and then flick anything back just like that so there is blush I'm still thinking in my head what I want to use on my eyes because I don't really know um, so I'm going to be grabbing eye primer next and let's see if I can get some on my eye. Get down in there, Elf. Just like that. I am guilty of using too much eye primer. <laughs> I usually put it on my eye more than I need. Just a little under my eye right there, but that's okay. It's okay. All right, so that is the primer. I am going to set that back with the face powder like I've been doing because I'm trying to use this biatch up. <laughs> this thing is lasting forever, which I guess is good. I mean, you know, you're getting your money's worth, but she is just lasting forever, but it's good that companies give you that much product. I mean, you know, look at it that way. I'm 
just patting that on. I do a lot of patting. I don't know if I can handle this shirt because it's three quarter sleeves and I'm so hot natured. Yes, it's very thin, but I'm already burning up. <laughs> oh, but we did have the heat on, so it's warm in here. Um, I don't know what palette I really want to use. I really don't know. I don't know, and I need to be deciding. I'm going to grab back here. What is this? This is a Morphe, and it is the 350 or the 35E. And the 35E has the colorful, colorful shadows. So I'm just going to come back in with that same brush. I'm just wiping it off a little bit. And there's really no transition shade. Most of these are um, shimmers. I think about every one of them is a shimmer. So, um, I knocked over a foundation. I'm going to grab out of my drawer an e.l.f. palette. No, this is Wet n' Wild palette. And I just mainly want this kind of, this one right here. That one, that one right there. And this is Comfort Zone, and I'm just going to sweep that. up above my crease because I have hooded eyes and you guys know if you have hooded eyes um, there are several different kinds of hooded eyes mine fall down that skin falls down see that over top of the lid so anything that you do in like your actual crease it just disappears um, pretty much so Unless you're talking like this and blinking, you don't really see that crease that much. I mean, you're, it's lost under that fold. All right, so that's all I want that for. Wipe that brush off. And I think this, I may have got a little darker. Just a tad darker. Come back, palette up just a little bit more and do this off yeah, that's better okay <laughs> um so this is gonna be a shimmery look today I'm sorry this is just the one I grabbed but um I think I'm gonna go in with some of these purples I don't do a lot of purples and purples are like my favorite color so I'm going to come in with this one right here and then we're going to go to this one right one of these two right here we may just mix them but I'm going to do that lightest shade of purple first tap that off this may be a mistake but if it is we're going to make it work so I'm starting in the crease and I'm going to kind of work it up uh, start working it up and blending just like so yep same thing over here in the crease first and then just start kind of working her up come down on that corner if you want to got to hurry because I want to stop and get me something for lunch to take to lunch I've not had lunch um, so it'll be lunch and dinner I'm gonna wipe that brush off again and just go over those edges kind of blending that brown and that purple I'm gonna come in with a smaller brush you guys know what it is it's that wet and wild and I am gonna come in with actually this one here just right above or actually to be below because it's upside down the color we just put down and I'm just feathering this in the crease because of that crepey skin and then once I kind of have that laid down I 
and come back and kind of blend. That just helps keep from getting that those skip lines that I absolutely hate. And it's mainly that eye there. That gives me grief. It's just mainly that eye. This eye does pretty good. I actually have a little bit of one right there, but, you know, I'm going to come in with that blending brush and that I always use and really work that color. I'm getting a little fallout. We will clean it up. Telling you this eye is a little darker than this eye. <laughs> Blend it some more. Blend it. I'm gonna come back just a little. There we go. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and flick some of that file out away. Okay. I'm gonna take this really dark purple here that's beside that first color and I'm just going to go right out here at the corner this is just with a little flat packer brush or shader brush and I'm going to go ahead and take a little on the tip and go ahead and put that out here in the outer corner under the lashes Okay, wipe that off really good. Now, what color do I want to put on my lid? There's so many pretty colors to choose from. And of course, the lights in here do not give this justice. Um, what do you guys think about this green, or would that be overkill? <laughs> I'm going to go with the shade maybe you guys know I love gold on the lid um, I don't know I don't know all right I'm just gonna pick up this kind of champagne right here in the middle right in the middle top row and just put a little of that on the lid See, just a little. And blend that edge right there in the crease. Going to bring that down at a corner. Go ahead. And tap a little bit that corner. All right, pencil brush, not that one, the smaller one. Just a little teeny tiny pencil brush. I wanna come in with that darkest purple, which we've already got, but I'm just intensifying. And then I'm gonna come in with that lighter purple. Just like that. Okay, eyebrows. I don't think I'll really even highlight the brow. Just gonna leave the um, face powder on there because there's enough shimmer, people. There is enough. There's enough shimmer. I'm gonna come back with that blending brush one last time and really kind of blend out the edge. And next up, I need my spoolie. Where are you at? Where you be? Okay, um, what time is it? Okay, I got to hurry. We're almost there though. I won't be uploading this till I get home, so it is just a little after 12 o'clock noon. I have to work till about 6. Um, and I think 
for a highlight. I'm going to use that e.l.f. cream again. I really liked that effect. I'm just putting a little on the back of the hand and just kind of smearing it around a little and I'm going to come in with a stipple brush and this is this is called a stippling brush from Real Techniques and it's going to tap it. Don't swish it, tap it. Because you don't want to lose your powder product underneath mess mess it in. Put just a dab on my nose and I'm going to pick up anything that's extra and just focus it really right there. Alright, I'm going to wipe that off my hands before I get it all over my shirts. Before I do my mascara, I am going to use the um, Tarte Ready Set Radiant. This is also in that little giveaway set. Oh, that, that's good. And I'm telling you, it smells like mint and cucumbers. That's the smell. <laughs> let that dry for a second so for my lips I'm going to use actually I just grabbed a Milani a lipstick again shocking I know and this is in the cream, uh, nude cream 26 she looks like that I'm not going to swatch it because like I said I'm going to work and <laughs> it's just a very nice nude I haven't worn just a real like lipstick in a while, so that's nice. All right, I think that's pretty much dry. I've been noticing, but it's only with that one, um, that coconut rose face mist. Um, my mascara has been smudging after, so I'm not taking the chances today. <laughs> I get to work and have. And of course, I just touched my all this um, black smudge under my eyes. So I gotta fix that one spot where I just touched my eyelid. Of course, I'm used to that by now, though. My lashes actually have natural curl up, so I'm trying to get them, and I'm a bump. That's just me. I very rarely curl my lashes because they do pretty good on their own. I'm just going to go back very lightly one more time. That's all. That's all the mascara I do. And I'll show you where I bumped. Can you guys see that right there? Yeah. Um, we will fix that. So I'm going to take, give it a second, let it dry. We'll need that palette back probably to fix this and then just kind of flick it with a powder brush just like that because since it's on powder it pretty much just flicks away see how that's already gone and I think I'm okay I don't think I really even need to touch up anything but I will go back with just a little bit of that dark shadow right there in the corner and just kind of pat it out, just add a little bit more depth, depth, just like that. Yay! So that easy to fix. Um, I'll, I'm used to it. I almost always get mascara on me somewhere. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I guess not. Um, uh, I gotta go spray my hair with a little bit of something to lay it down. All right, guys, that is the look. <laughs> oh, come back. Hold on. Got a little happy with that last purple. But you know, all you gotta do is blend. <laughs> That's working better. That's working better. One reason I go kind of dark on my eyes, guys, is you know, I do wear glasses and I don't have them out here. Once you put those glasses on, it kind of masks your eyes so people don't see all that wonderful color you just put on your eyes. My glasses are actually over there on the, over there on that nightstand. 
But yeah, um, so I go a little bit darker on my eyes. Darker on my eyes. But that's it. That's it for the look. Do I need to clean up any more? No, I don't think so. That looks good. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Be sure you're subscribing to the channel because I have a great giveaway going. It will end on Halloween, so you still have time to get in, but you must be subscribed to this channel. Um, there's ways to earn extra entry points. It's all in that video. You do have to be a um, United States citizen because at this present moment, that's the only, that's all I can afford to ship to. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. But... Um, yeah, I will link the video down below so you can check that video out and it'll give you all the rules and everything that's in the in the goodies. But I have added surprise goodies. So you're you're getting more than what I show you. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.